Alrighty, so I was given a super unique opportunity and it was so exciting to take part in it. Um, I got to beta test Ride Sims 2 and I'm still doing it um, and I'm having a blast. I've literally been recording uh, for the last couple of days um, of me learning how to use the system and then also me just experimenting around with things. Um, so for those of you that don't know what Ride Sims 2 is, Ride Sims was an old website where you could go and ride off rides. Now, they're finally coming back three years later with a new version, Ride Sims 2, um, which will feature Walt Disney World's monorail. It'll also feature Baron 1898. Um, and uh, so they have built an entire site from ground up. The site features some of the original Sims from version one, um, enhanced with new user interfaces and new challenges. More on the challenges will come as we read on. There are brand new unofficial simulations with all new features. So they'll have Walt, uh, Walt Disney World's Monorail, Baron 1898, and Terran. Terran's going to be super exciting. I can't wait to ride off that one. Um, the new site builds upon the popular feature of challenges. This time you can earn challenge awards, not just on your score, but each sim has its very own unique challenges. An example would be a number of continuous inversions on Ripsaw or even the number of fully loaded trains dispatched on Baron 1898. We can now display both your highest session score and your total combined scores of all time to unlock challenges. Um, so we know that the highest scores users played for a long time, making it difficult for some users to get onto the leaderboards. So now we have a new challenge, throughput per hour. This is an average hour, hourly rate calculated on the number of peeps you handled. That was what tongue twister right there. So Ride Sims 2 um, is now on Patreon. Users can become supporters. There are various reward tiers available. Check out Patreon for more details. Um, so become a Ride Sims Patreon on Patreon. Ride Sims Plus is a behind scenes blog giving a virtual look into the world of Ride Sims, showcasing upcoming Sims and making of blogs. This is accessible to Patreon, VIP and Platinum Creator Patreons. Users can now earn profile badges for becoming a Patreon supporter as well as playing Ride Sims on select special event days. For the special event, media previewers will earn a media day badge on their profile. There are more features to come. We're just getting started. So this is all very exciting. And as you've been watching, there's a lot of unique features that I am blown away by. I never played Ride Sims. So Ride Sims 2 is new to me as an entire game. So I'm sure for those of you that played Ride Sims, you're noticing me kind of struggling at first. And um, for anyone starting a new game, that's totally normal. But um, as you can see, you can transfer trains onto the track, you can transfer trains off, you're going to learn that rides break down, things go wrong, faults happen, which is so fun. Um, it is just really unique. Um, again, this is new to me, so I was blown away because I had never played it before. I don't know the comparison of Ride Sims 2 versus Ride Sims 1. So if you do, comment down below and give us your opinions. But I've been talking to a few people that have played Ride Sims, and it's a very addictive game. Um, for anyone that's obsessed with roller coasters um, or is a ride op at a theme park, this is definitely going to be the game for you. Um, and uh, I'm excited. I can't wait for the full version to be released. I want to opt some of those other rides from version one that'll be included in this when they launch it. Um, so you can launch trains um, via the transfer track. You can load them on, sorry, not launch. Um, and you have to load guests into pre-shows. So in this one, you'll see me struggling because you have to open gates. You have to manage your queue line. You have to manage the pre-show. You have to manage the restraints. You have to call maintenance if the ride breaks down. Um, you got to manage your blocks. Um, super fun. Definitely a lot of uh, a big learning curve for the first, like I would say five to 10 minutes, which is actually really impressive. So some games are too complicated to play and this game isn't. So I would say this game is definitely for all ages. Um, so if you're son or daughter wants to play Ride Sims, I would definitely say um, it's for them. Uh, and it was so cute to see the ride music and the kind of pre-show music included in the game as well. I did not include that in this video because um, my computer was recording it at a very low quality. It is not low quality in the game. Um, I just need to figure out my mic settings and my stereo settings on my uh, game capture device. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to think of anything else that I thought was so fun. Um, definitely the, the pre-show was really unique and the single rider queue that you have to manage as well. 
Um, and again, you could see me <laughs> struggling, especially when the ride breaks down. So that was fun to handle having to call a mechanic. And then it says, oh, there's a fault. And then I noticed even when I tried to override the fault, it would create another fault. So it was kind of realistic in sense that if I tried to override another fault or pre-send a train and there was a block break problem, it faulted the ride. So that was really unique. Um, I like that there's attention to detail in the actual operations of the coasters. So super cool. Um, I just wanted to operate Baron 1898 for my first video. I will obviously be opping other attractions like the Walt Disney World monorail, Ripsaw, and um, Terran. Um, Terran will be a fun one as well. I have a feeling Terran will be super complicated for me because I think there's more than three trains, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I'll practice with one and then start load on a second and then load on a third. Um, I'm not sure how many trains that has, but I'm, I'm sure it has two or three or four, something like that. Um, anyways, I'm going to link the website to the game down below. It is not released yet. It is a media beta. So thank you to Ride Sims 2 for inviting me to media beta the ride. Um, so there'll be more videos on the ride and the announcement of its uh, release. So it will be released early 2019, I believe they're saying. Um, so the website down below, just stay tuned. I think you can sign up on Patreon or follow them on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date on what's going on. Anyways, I definitely highly recommend this game. I'm going to be playing it a lot um, and we'll be, have future videos on other attractions as well. Comment down below if you want to know something about the game or you want to see a certain aspect of the game. I can definitely record that for you guys as well. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick update on Ride Sims 2. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Have a good one, guys. Bye.